Hey everyone, my name is Jared Schoonmaker. Welcome to my channel. Today, obviously, we're talking about emotional trauma and really what's the most effective way to deal with it. And I'm not gonna sit here and say my way is going to be the best way for everybody. Everybody is individual. Some people do respond really well with sitting there and talking about their feelings and singing Kumbaya and doing all this other shit star signs and all this crap. Some people are fine with that, but for the most, mostly men, we're action takers. We're not really here to sit and talk and bitch and whine and complain about our feelings, but we need to do something with them. We need to do something with that trauma in our life. And I'm of the opinion of taking that trauma, taking that pain and using it for fuel, using it to leverage your life to become the best version possible. Not sitting there and whining and complaining about how shitty your life is, but taking those experiences and turning them into wins. And that's what I wanna to talk to you a little bit about today. And if you can use this approach, if you can take this action-based approach, if you can use your monsters in a healthy way, now you create leverage for yourself. And that's really what we're trying to do is just create little wins to create more wins, to create that leverage, to start that tipping point in our life where we start creating that leverage that we need to start making massive changes in our life. And so what are some examples of monsters we have dealt with? We certainly have all dealt with rejection, when we were desperate for a yes. It's that heartbreak when we kind of needed a connection from somebody. Maybe it's being the butt of a joke for too long. We're either too fat, too short, too bald, too ugly, too skinny, too gay, too black, too whatever. Or it could be something deeper and darker. Maybe it's an abusive parent that's been your monster. All of these monsters can be used to help you transcend to become that best version of yourself possible. Don't squander this gift. And I know we all have this trauma, but in a way this trauma is a gift if used correctly. How do you start leveraging these monsters? Before we get into that, if you like content like this, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, please hit like, leave a comment, Consider subscribing to the channel and maybe even hitting that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. This is a new channel. We're trying to get it to grow. We're trying to get that algorithm to kick in so it starts showing other people these videos. So do the thing, whatever the fuck it is, hit those buttons for me. So how do you leverage your monsters? Well, the first thing you wanna do is don't hide from them. They're your monsters. They're nothing to be ashamed of. Everybody has monsters. Everybody has trauma. Shit has happened in everybody's life. By not hiding yours, you actually give permission for other people around you to show theirs. Don't pretend that your monsters never happen. In a way, that's violence upon yourself. Acknowledging that these monsters are part of you, that they happen, that they have shaped you into the person you are today, good and bad. Acknowledge that. They are your monsters. Don't pretend. Accept your monsters, bring them into the light so that you can truly heal them. A lot of people keep their monsters completely closed. They keep them closed off and they never open them up. And then they, com they continue to repeat the same problems in their life because they haven't truly healed. The next thing you can do is because you can truly use these monsters to help you grow. Think of all the stories like Tony Robbins. His mom poured glue into his mouth when he was a kid. Oprah Winfrey was raped from the time she was nine all the way into the time she was in her mid-teens. David Goggins' dad used to beat the shit out of him. These people use this immense pain, this frustration, maybe even this shame, and they used it for massive growth. And it's not just for the famous people. People like you and me every day can decide to take 
our pain to take our monsters and transmute them into this fuel that we need, that we can use to do the same thing. The question is, are you going to let this pain devour you? Or are you going to use it? Are you going to use this pain as fuel? It's okay to feel down. It's okay to feel depressed. It's okay to take some time off if you're dealing with the trauma. But eventually you're going to have to rise up. You're going to have to do something. And what is you going to do? I invite you to take this anger that you feel, this pain, this frustration, this pissivity that you have and use it as a motivator because anger is a fantastic motivator. I've used anger most of my life to get where I was, even to get where I am today. I'm often angry, but I take that anger and I challenge it and I channel it into going to the gym. I channel it into my businesses. I channel it into maybe some frustrations that I have within myself. I try to um, go do a deeper dive into why am I so frustrated with the situation when I'm just mirroring it out of myself. So I use this, this anger and I use it for fuel. So maybe you are a little bit overweight and you're pissed off that you're overweight, but you're morally pissed off because women don't like you and they're not, every time you ask a girl out, she turns you down. Great, use that that fact that you're fat, that you're a fat ass, use that anger and get to the gym. Start eating better. Start drinking your water. Lose the weight. You can use that anger and now you're doing something positive in your life. When you're able to control your anger, you can shut down everything else around you and maintain super focused, super vigilant on one task at hand. That's why I love anger so much. I can completely tune out everybody and just focus on what's hand. Just, just nail it out. I love that part. If you're struggling to start something in your life, take those monsters that you're struggling with and turn them into anger. That way you can at least start getting a little bit motivation that you need to start moving forward. Action always helps. Lying there, talking to somebody through therapy, there's no action behind that. You want action, it starts helping. Massive action helps a lot. Massive action sustained for a long period of time can build fucking empires. Anger's not always great at sustaining that, but you can use it as a spark. You can use it to, to if you start trailing off in your life, maybe you started hitting the gym for a good two or three weeks and you start feeling yourself trailing off, you can tap into that anger. Like, yeah, I'm still a fat ass. You can start tapping back into that anger to get yourself back into the gym. So you can use it as that spark to get you back on track. Taking that pain, that anger, that frustration and using it to fuel. When you take pain, pain and anger, are basically the same thing, guys. But that pain, maybe that frustration Maybe you're ashamed of something. Instead of wallowing in it, guys, and, and becoming this passive little bitch, this victim mentality that you see that's out there, instead of talking to these fucking hippie therapists all the time about tapping into your feelings and just loving yourself and fucking kumbaya, use it as that fuel, use it as that catalyst for change, guys. Take that pain. Thank your dad for calling you a piece of shit. Thank him for saying, yeah, man, of course, thanks, dad. I've never amounted to anything. This one more rep is for you, dad. Girlfriend dumped you, fucking thank her. Say, you know what? I'm gonna go talk to 10 more girls who are way better than you, way hotter than you. I'm gonna prove that I can get a better girlfriend than you. Maybe you've been called a social retard. Maybe you've been called Ah, maybe you can call creepy. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Now I can learn better social dynamics. I can, I can get better in this. I can take this pain that I have and I can transmute it into something positive. So thank people who are putting you down. Thank people who don't think anything of you. Thank people who you know, just, just don't think of you that way, who've always putting, they're putting you down to make themselves feel better. That's all they're doing, guys. 
take that and use it for fuel. Men are born valueless. <clears throat> We're born into this world with no value and it's up to us to build ourselves up into the kings that we are. And we, we do that by this frustration of the world, the weight of the world, this anger of these people shooting us down over our lifetime and us getting better each time. Each time we're getting better, we're taking this and using it for fuel till one day we become this high value man and we become sought after because we've done the work and we can sit back and look like I've done this. I've made it to where I wanted to be in my life. I didn't accept failure. I didn't wallow in my pain. I didn't lay on some fucking couch and just practice self-love and, oh yeah, no. I took my pain and I made it my own and I fucking beat that motherfucker's ass. That's what I did. I looked at myself in the mirror and I saw, yeah, I'm a weak fucker. Until one day I can look at myself in the mirror and I nod, I'm like, yeah, I'm proud of that motherfucker. I'm proud of that man that, that I've become. That's what I want you to do. That's why I want to take this frustration that you have. Don't be ashamed of it. Use it. It's a gift. I'm telling you. Accept your monsters. Love your monsters. And then use your monsters for fuel. Use that monster. Use that pestivity to create something of value in your life. That's all I got on this video today, guys. My name is Jared. This is Magnetic Men's Club. If you found this video helpful, you know what to do. Just leave a like. Leave a comment, love to hear your comments on this. I'm here just to try to affect some kind of change in your life, guys. You guys are all fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Don't forget that, and we'll talk soon.